Hello, my name is Sheila Holbrook, and today I'm doing my reflection vlog on my informative speech. For my first question, it says, what is the specific purpose of this speech project, and why do I think it was included in our course? I think the specific purpose of this speech was to kind of really wet our feet. An informative speech is generally very informational and less about opinion, um, so you can rely more on information instead of relying on, you know, what you think. I think it was included in our course also so we can get a taste of what a college speech is really like. And in this way, an informative speech is just really helpful to kind of understand that. Um, how did I feel going into this speech presentation? I was very nervous. I really didn't know what to expect and I found out that this was far different than any speech I have ever done. Um, I just it was really eye-opening and I realized that college is something that I'm really going to have to step up for. I did experience a lot of speaker anxiety. I think it's just because I'm naturally a shy person and I think that speaking in front of anybody is kind of difficult for me. Uh, to reduce my speaker anxiety, I think I just really need to breathe and just practice a little bit more. I probably should have practiced a lot more than I did. Um, my technology, I feel, was adequately prepared. I think that what I could have done differently was maybe just set up things a little bit differently, uh, find a better environment for me to focus in because sometimes I'd lose track. Um, in terms of structure and organization, uh, the element that felt natural to me was probably the conclusion. Conclusions and introductory statements are fairly easy for me. But transitions is something that we've never really worked on a lot in high school, so this was something that I really needed to work on. Um, this is really, I guess, different. I've never noticed to focus on that aspect of the speech before. Um, for considering my audience when developing my speech, I kind of tried to think of it from an outside perspective. You know, for somebody who's never heard anything like this before, like myself, before I researched this, I wanted to kind of find the information that people would really want to know. You know, something that's interesting, not really boring, and still was very eye-opening. What did I do in my speech that worked? Uh, I think that one of the things I did was that I tried to make things very easy to understand. I tried to kind of put it into words that, you know, a wide variety of readers can understand without trying to think about it too hard. Um, for what didn't work, I kind of found it a little bit difficult sometimes to transition between things. Uh, and just kind of really narrow down what needed to be said because there's a lot of things about this topic that could be said and just trying to find you know an important enough topic that I feel people should specifically know about was kind of a little difficult. Um, what areas can I target for improvement? I think that overall I should probably just practice a little bit more. A lot of my speaker anxiety and everything like I said was just because I didn't practice enough. I feel like Sometimes doing like my outline, I made some stupid mistakes that I should have noticed, but I guess I was just so nervous. Um, I just really didn't plan my time very well. For my learned experiences to the class reading and concepts, I think that probably the biggest help for me was chapter number two. Uh, when it talks about combating communication apprehension on page 37 and then on page 38 where it talks about employing relaxation techniques. Um, for this, I think that a lot of times people are just very afraid to talk from the get-go. And so I think that this really applied to me and I think I've learned a lot from this presentation. Thank you.